Hi there. Uh, this tutorial is going to cover integrating uh, Squad Command Advanced Warfighter AI by Rival Theory and Ultimate FPS by Vision Punk. This is version 1.5.1 and Squad Command is uh, 1.0.6. So I've uh, imported um, the first thing I imported was Squad Command. Um, after that, I imported uh, Ultimate FPS uh, version 1.5.1. Uh, I opened this patrol scene. I figured that we would just uh, start with that. So I've provided um, scripts that um, I didn't create myself, but uh, first thing we're going to do is replace this uh, gun controller script with the one that's provided. Uh, basically what it does is it um, checks for another Raycast collider um, for layer 30, which is the UFPS layer. Um, the other thing I'm, I did was under the layers, um, the squad command uses this layer eight. So I just typed in layer eight squad command. You can put whatever you want here. I just wanted to be able to tell quickly which layer I'm using. So you're going to want to make that edit as well. Uh, the other thing I did is I created a new folder called Squad Bridge Scripts and I dropped in the uh, UFPS Formation Manager. I dropped in the UFPS uh, Rain Bridge as well. And uh, these are the next two scripts that we're going to do. So the first thing we're going to do on all of these soldiers, I'm just going to highlight them all at the same time. I'm going to add the scripts, uh, this rain bridge script. And I'm going to do the same thing to the defenders. So add component scripts. Rainbridge script. So the um, the Rainbridge script, I added a namespace. That's why it was so easy to find. Um, this uh, community member, I think he's on the Rifle Theory and the UFPS community, uh, created this script. Um, I made some edits to it uh, to make it work with uh, UFPS 1.5.1. Uh, the other script that uh, he created that I uh, made a number of edits to is this uh, UFPS Formation Manager. And this is also under the namespace uh, red. So you can, you can do any namespace you want. And for this script, I have a bunch of key codes so that you can actually uh, make the edits to it. And I've also created a a text which can display it. Um, so I'm going to um, add my uh, UFPS player, just one of the prefabs to the scene. Just going to put them right about there. I'm going to disable the player. This is the one that comes with the squad command. Um, so first thing I'm going to do on this is I am going to turn off my inventory and I'm going to add the formation manager. So if we look at it, you see here's all of the um, public um, keys that you can uh, set up. So real quick, I'm going to make a, I'm just going to make a canvas real quick um, so that you can display in game um, the instructions for how to use it. So I just thought I would go ahead and do this uh, real quick while you see it so that you can kind of see what's going on, how to do it. I'm not really talking about how to do it. I'm going to set this to I'm gonna make it uh, 270. 240. This needs to be set right there. 
and I am going to add a text. And so the text is going to be a child of the panel. And I am going to set it right here at the top. I'm going to make this uh, 180 by 30. 10, negative 10, uh, 14, can make it white, and overflow, it's not a raycast target, and then on the weapons I am going to uh, use it so you may want to um, you know, modify the positioning of the text and stuff to whatever you want, but I wanted this to display it in game. Uh, we also want to uh, disable the camera and I'm disabling this game manager. Um, so you, you're going to need to um, edit the health element script. Um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to search for AI rig uh, space T shooter right here. It's right around uh, line 227. It's going to uh, look like this, and you're going to want to replace it uh, with the script. Um, I'll put a link uh, to my website uh, which will show um, the information. On each of your attackers, uh, this is your squad, under the AI, uh, the light bulb, you're going to want to change this player to whatever you're using. Uh, the next part's already set up on these, but you'll see under this uh, icon, you've got the team is Team B. Um, this aim and control is already set up, and your health element is already set up as well. Uh, the health... Um, Piece. All right, now we're going to shift over to the UFPS player. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to create an empty child. And I am just going to call this um, squad. I'm going to go ahead and set this up on that um, squad command layer. And for this one, I'm going to add the um, fire team formation harness. And the leader is going to be the UFPS player. I need to name this uh, squad. Okay. Um, from there, I am going to um, create a new entity. So you just go rain, uh, create new entity from the menu. And it's going to create there, sorry, it was under squad. So it's going to create an uh, entity, and I want to add a team aspect entity. And I'm just going to call this um, team. And this is team B. And the mount point. Um, the map point can stay as is, but I'm just going to assign it to the uh, head. So if you scroll down through here to find the head, I'm just going to add to the head. And I'm going to add another um, aspect, and this one is going to be a visual aspect. I'm going to call this one aim. Point. and I'm going to assign it to the head as well. So I'm going to select my UFPS player again. I'm going to create a new AI. So this will add an AI component to the UFPS player. So on this last icon, we're going to add a communication manager. And we are going to add a team extension. For the team is going to be B. 
the mount point is going to be the head. So you're, you always, uh, well, you set that to the head bone, and I'm going to add a formation manager. Uh, the harness is going to be squad. And the formation mode is going to be wedge. This harness name right here, this needs to be squad as well. And you'll see here's the formation type. It default sets up to wedge. Okay, next up we got to change our projectiles. So if you expand out and look at uh, one of your projectiles, for instance, this uh, pistol bullet, uh, we're actually going to want to turn off this required damage handler. So you're going to go through all of these and just turn off the required damage handler. Um, and then also under the grenade itself, so you'll see if you click on the um, projectile prefab, you look at the grenade over here under death spawn objects, you've got this grenade explosion. So you're going to want to edit that one as well. And what I did for that was I just turned off this uh, required damage handler. Uh, for all of your um, projectiles, except for the explosion, on this no decal layers, you're going to want to expand this to five and put uh, the number eight. So that's the layer eight that the squad command is on. Uh, from here, we should we can play it and test the game out. Uh, so up here you'll see the different formation commands and um, you know from here if we run around they'll follow us and if if we shoot our own guys they'll die uh, they'll also die with the uh, grenade of course I'm gonna die too Um, and that's it. So last thing you want to do is you're going to want to save this as a new scene so that you keep your um, your other scene intact. So I just called it um, control scene UFPS and uh, that's it. From there it's You've got the squad command manual you can follow, and you've got the ultimate FPS manual to follow. Uh, enjoy. I hope this helps.